Welcome to this Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 11 in our series, Getting Started with Rails 7. So in our previous episodes leading up until now, we've gotten through the entire uh, set of seven RESTful actions in the articles controller. So we created our blog, we uh, added initially a Hello Rails article controller index, we then went in and started creating the, the article model with its migration. We migrated that article and then went through the seven restful standard restful actions that come in the articles controller index show new create edit update destroy. And we went through, got it working with turbo and um, that's where we are. So we've made it through the articles resource and the next section of the getting started guide is adding a second model but before we do that i'm going to use to use this episode as a brief interlude to show you how you can get to where we just were very very quickly using the rails scaffold generator by the end of this you'll you might ask why didn't we do this in the first place uh, the point is in this getting started guide to teach the concepts behind Rails and doing that incrementally rather than just being, all right, you've generated your 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 resource and it's done and it works, would um, defeat that purpose of teaching through that. So we're going to go through, we're going to call our set, before we add the second model of comments, we're going to go through and we're going to generate a parallel model called post that will do the same thing that Oracles does, only we're going to use the Rails scaffold generator rather than the um, kind of adding those things in one by one for the most part as we've been doing. So we're in our main uh, directory for our application and we're going to use the scaffold uh, generator here, Rails G short, you could type out generate here, scaffold post, and it'll have just like the article title string body text. And we'll see what happens here. So we see a lot of things being invoked and created. We've got our migration, we've got our model, we've got our model test stub, our fixture file, our um, our resource in the um, the route the routes file, which we'll, we'll show will actually have been modified, and then the scaffold controller. You see, when you do it by default, just g scaffold post with your attributes it'll give you all of your index edit show new, and then it will give you partials for both a form and a post partial. And then we get the posts controller test, we get our system posts test, and we get a post helper. We haven't really done much with helpers yet. And then uh, some information about the, the JSON builder for that. So let's take a look at what we generated here and compare it to what happened in articles. So articles, we could, if we wanted to just take this and we will um, make this exactly like what we have in articles for our fixture. I'll r take a look at our migration before we run it. So create articles, t.string title, t.text body, timestamps. We get the same thing with posts. I'll run that. Put my fingers on the home row, key, home row keys. We've got that migration up and running. If we look at the posts controller test, we can see that most of the uh, the tests that we wrote by hand for articles are just generated for us when we do the scaffold. 
and in the system test case we can see that the um, there was also a, a system test created for that so let's do what we can to um, we should also look at the controller file so posts controller you can see um, get posts index equals post dot all new edit create update destroy and you can see an update and um, create an update we're able to we're responding to both the HTML format and the JSON format so if we compare that to what we've got for articles we can see we've got article and then if article dot save we're not using that respond to block let's get the post controller back up here let's look at any other differences so the uh, the other thing that we're going to do and we'll, we'll, we'll take backport this to article you can see the scaffold generator by default has a before action um, that sets your resource whenever you're going in you can see the repeated code here show article equals article dot find params ID edit article find params ID update destroy so we can take that and we'll adapt this call this set article And then we'll create the private set article method. Change post to article here. And then we'll take a look at so all of these now article dot find params ID you can see all of these one two three four show edit update destroy can be removed from our code because we're using this before action callback to set this for the show edit update and destroy actions. So let's see what happens with our tests now. You see we've got seven errors. So we renamed our fixture in post. So that is appears to be primarily the source of those errors. We'll go in to the posts controller test. Change that to posts nerd. And you can see now we've got 20 runs with 78 assertions. We've got, let's see what we, happens when we try the test system. Same error with regard to our fixture name. I'll go in and fix that. See where that gets us. So everything past there will go test doll test colon all. And everything is passing. However, I would expect that when we actually go and try to do the um, the update, it's not going to work as expected. So 
will go into our blog. Make sure our server is running. Let's see. We also are, I'll, I'll take a look at the views in a minute there, but that's our flash from the last time we destroyed an article here. I go to new post. We do not have the validations in here. So if I can, you can see post was successfully created, but it doesn't have the validations that we did when we did article. And I try to destroy this post it says post was successfully destroyed, but there you can see there was no confirmation there. So um, that makes for a, uh, a surprising situation there. You go to destroy and there, there's no confirmation there. So let's fix that. We'll go in and modify our code. First, make our test match what we would expect for articles. See what we have in article test as well here. All right, sorry, post to test. So that's got nothing. We will try to get this to parity. So we'll copy these in. To the post test. We will make sure that we'll do a control H here. Uh, we want a match case. Replace that with post. And then replace article with post here. We've got case insensitive. We've got nothing related to article now. Those tests should now fail. See, we've got three errors, and they're related to those validations that we haven't set. We'll add those into our post model. And try running our tests again. So we've got runs, assertions, everything's working for models. Everything is working for our normal tests. And everything for now is working with our system tests. We're going to go into our posts test and implement the, the change on that system integration test so that destroy uses the confirmation. look at what else we've got. So similar to what we did here, we'll add this in. So 
we should now fail here because we've got no confirm happening. We can see modal not found, unable to find modal dialog. So let's go in and fix that in our show for posts. And we can see our, uh, this is our notice here. We'll add that into our article as well. So got that on show, got that on index. Those are the two things we redirect to. So we'll add those in on show and index here. Add those into our articles test. there. Why is that not working? Copy. Paste. There we go. So we should still only have the one error so far. And it stays there. Let's go in and fix the the article, the post show view in order to match what we needed in order to get it working in articles. So we'll go to our views here. Destroy this post method delete. We will get rid of method delete. Got that. I'm going to try seeing if I can. I'll do it with article first so that we can see if it works on something we know is passing. But um, instead of turbo method and turbo method, I'm going to see if I can just do turbo and then another nested hash. See if that is equivalent. Two errors. Yeah, so that did not work. We'll leave it as is. And then we'll go into our 
article show.html.erb. We will save that. And we'll still be failing because we don't have the see other status on our post yet. Unable to find modal dialog. So let's see what happens there. We might need to, if we're doing a create post. So that just took us to the post without doing the modal dialog. So let's change that, make that instead of a button to a link to so that we can get the modal dialog. Add Type character there so that it looks consistent. Now we should get our 303 error, and we do. Go in to our posts controller, make our destroy here. other see where that gets us from our system tests all right should destroy post we made it pretty far here our failure Expected to find text new post. Ah, case sensitive. So we'll go in to our posts test. Change the case on that. that passed. Those all passed. We'll close saved here. We'll add to our article test. articles controller test here. We'll add some um, information about the create and update flashes.
comma. Add the same thing to updated. consistent with the punctuation there. Updated, created, destroyed, period, which will also affect our articles system test. rerun everything and see where that gets us. Oh, we've got failures. They're all in the articles controller test. Take a look at those views. All right, we'll take those out of the controller test. We have them in the integration test there. Rerun. Still have a failure. Oh, because we undid the change to the period there. That was not in a system test, so I'll just rerun that. It's passing. Everything else is passing. So can see that we've generated a lot of code here using the scaffold generator. The routes file got modified to add in that resources posts. Just move that down, put it next to articles. refactored out some of the things that we found in the scaffold generator. We added in the notice for articles. We added the new posts migration, changed it via the, uh, so that affects the schema. And then we added that new parallel mo model using the generator here and we're right at a half hour write our commit message so there we go we've got our commit message we will save that and the it's like dumb and dumber you mean you could have created this resource like that the whole time. Yes, we did in just about a half hour and we'll push to the remote. We're not gonna wind up using or keeping this posts 
model up to date throughout the rest of the guide. I just kind of did it in parallel to show that you can get very quickly up and running with a particular resource using the Rails generate scaffold command. We'll pick up the next video and start creating comments on our articles. Want to create your own Ruby gem but don't know where to start? Code along with me on the end-to-end -end journey of the Nerd Dice project. We'll configure and publish the gem, use GitHub Actions to trigger builds and tests, and create magic methods with Ruby metaprogramming that can roll any number of dice, all while using a test-driven approach. Go to statelesscode.com slash nerddicegem to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft.